Welcome to the Heavy Metal Citadel Podcast. And I'm your host, Short the Crop Infester. And I'm your host, Chernoglov, the hero with the silver mustache. And we are on the road. In Oxford. In Oxford. <laughs> we are going to go see Unto Others for the second time today. The first time was? On Thursday in London at the Underworld. And it was phenomenal. We had a lot of good commentary with the fans. Uh, the energy was absolutely amazing to the point where Gabe literally said that he hadn't seen this kind of energy since he was in his hometown. Yep. Um, London as their second hometown even said. And this is, I think, the, th- the third time they've they've come to London. So they obviously love it. They love the crowds. Yeah. And they love the UK, which is great for us because this tour has been... It's been a huge tour, really, in yeah, comparison to other them. bands. They've been at, what, Norwich, Southend-on-Sea, all the Oxford, small yeah, all the amazing. small places. And you know what? I mean, even, even tonight, they were supposed to play at the... What was it? The O2? O2? No, but they got screwed over by the, the promoter there, didn't they? Yeah, they can suck it. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to feature a bit of commentary uh, from the fans. We will play a couple songs. A couple songs. Yeah, we'll play, a couple we'll play, songs. We'll play one song each. Yeah. Yeah. You pick one, I pick one, uh, and we will have an interview in between that from Unto Others uh, today in mm-hmm. Oxford. And yeah. Yeah. And we'll be going to the Jericho Tavern tonight, famously where Radiohead started. So that is one cool fact for you. Exactly. All of our underground black metal fans are also huge Radiohead fans. So that's a good little fact. More you than you would expect. So very, I, I very I thought you were going to break band. into like a lyrical form of one of their songs. Uh, no, I actually don't listen to them. Yeah, but, uh, I don't listen to them. I recognize their importance. Anyways, uh, before... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Radiohead podcast. <laughs> here's, uh, here's a bit of commentary we're going to play. Uh, first from the London gig, where, again, thank you so much, guys, for coming out. And thank you for doing the commentary for us um and then we're going to have some commentary from the oxford gig and more commentary just commentary there's so much okay. fans so many fans that wanted to say it's stuff true. about yeah, onto true. others man they're supporting them and yeah god bless so um yeah here's some commentary from london and then oxford and we will be back all right <laughs> let's go the craziest shit that's going to happen is going to happen right now go uh, so the craziest shit that's going to happen tonight is that they will one day actually open the doors, despite the fact they build it at seven, and it's now <laughs> twenty past twenty past seven. Yeah, so ah, pretty brilliant. standard. Um, and I suppose the other th- the big question tonight is, what covers are they actually going to play? Because we've spent all week staring at Setlist FM trying to work out what it's going to be, and every time I go, oh yeah, yeah, I know what's going to happen. No, <laughs> change it. Won't it won't be the one that's on the album. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, why is it not Hell is for Children? The best cover anybody has done in like 10 years. It's, it's bullshit. So you, you haven't narrowed it down, essentially, in terms of sellers? No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> it could be anything. We all could right. go in there. They might not even play any Unto Others songs. They might come out and pretend to be idle hands for the day. We don't know. Very true. What a great band, you know? Uh, it's I do it's like okay. Them too. It's yeah, okay. One, one really great album each. It's, yeah. uh, so it's the best of both worlds if they do. A little bit of a covers of Idle Hands. Yeah, I think that's yeah, what they're for. What is your favorite song from both bands? Uh, so, uh, favorite song from Idle Hands is Manor, the title track. And my favorite song, which should be in the set list tonight from the new album, is Heroin. Heroin! Ah. Our favorite as well. <laughs> Single Solemn Rose from first album. Oh. Okay, that's a nice. Th- deep that's cut. a that's, that's a, a good deep, deep cut. cut. Very yeah. Not a lot of people say that, but I love it. Yeah. It's in the set list. It's my favorite and new album. Ah, oh, I can't pick one at the moment. Cool, that's fine. Also, I'm about six beers deep, so I didn't even think to ask about people's names. So can we have names here? I'm John. Toby. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, anyone else with any comments for unto others until they start uh, burning this place? Oh, wait, and we're oh, we're going. All right, we're gonna cut it. All right, sorry guys, sorry guys. All right, cool. Uh, we're here to see on to others, and we're here with Jack. Jack, well, that's an original name. We got a couple of John Doe's and a couple of Bobs. Anyways, Jack, how you doing? Yeah, doing very good, thanks. Tomorrow's my birthday, so. Oh, happy birthday, Jack! Happy birthday, Jack! Gabe, if you hear this ahead of time, which you won't, because we're airing this like twelve days later, uh, please say happy birthday to Jack. Well, he has to say. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. He does okay. have to say that. I don't understand how time works. Listen, that's all right. When we talk to Gabe, we'll say happy birthday to Jack. And no, it'll all be good. We'll cool. sort it out in post. Yes. And are you here to see Unto Others? or? Oh, yes. Sir. What's your favorite song? Um, it's going to be 
maybe instinct at the moment it changes oh that's yeah. a nice choice you don't hear that one too often and how did you initially get into the band oh just spotify recommendations so yeah. what what do you listen to in terms is there other like goth metal or metals uh yeah, so i got the time of active from two shows classic dude brilliant classic. yeah uh, i listen to quite a few wide things so i guess it is you know all the bottom and stuff but so industrial uh, simple way and yeah rock yeah. Metal, metal. Nice. Yeah, we do see a lot of crossover between typo negative fans and actually unto others. Mm -hmm. um, no, there's another bloke with another yeah. dead again t shirt. I was yeah. talking to you. Yeah. You should have had the Origin of Feces shirt on. <laughs> oh, the Origin of Feces, but the original cover. The original Not the cover. stupid little uh, Disney one. Yeah, yeah, on. no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, dude, uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, hopefully, when they're done, we can all grab a beer, but I don't know. They seem pretty chill. Yeah. Here we go, Underworld, I'm two others. Who do we got here? Uh, it's Tom De Silva. So That's a sexy ass fucking name. It is a sexy ass name. Ex girlfriend hated it. Oh, so. well, she sucks. She does fucking suck. <laughs> it's good, man. All right, dude, uh, who are you here to see? I'm two others, obviously. Brilliant. And uh, what was the first album, I guess, that you saw? So, or got her. into them on strength, and then have gone back, admittedly. Um, basically, got through them on oh, a Discord server. Okay. So, a mate of mine was like, started off a Discord server, sharing music. One of the albums, Strength came up as an album and that's kind of where I want to go to so okay yeah. and uh, favorite song that you want to hear today oh I know it's a bit of a bitch thing to say but oh, don't, no, don't say right. it don't say right. it which one I'll probably I'll probably I always like I always like get whenever I'm asked about song titles I get mumbled up probably I will rain but yeah the song about rain is that's, really good it's that's the song about rain is great I actually thought you were going to say uh, Hell's for Children House Children's also which really good. Which is really good. Which is really fucking really good. Really fucking good. Okay, Yeah. Cool. If we're going to get some golf bangers, we've got all the golf bangers. Fuck it, let's do it. Awesome. Well, listen, man. Thank you so much for this. It's all right, man. Appreciate it. See you out there. Cheers, man. All right, guys. So we just had the uh, last song of Unto Others, and we are here with... Jason. Oh, Hello. dude. Jason. Hey, man. How did you like the show? Oh, I loved it. Uh, I love Unto Others, so... Woo! Oh, woohoo! And also, <laughs> you were in a previous show from Unto Others before the London gig. Which which one was that? I was at Nottingham last night, but it wasn't as good a turnout as tonight. So, yeah. so tonight was a lot better crowd wise. Brilliant. And then you're also going to uh, Norwich on Saturday. Oh, that's, that's yeah. That's a true so, fan. True that fan, diehard fan. fan. <laughs> diehard fan. All right, and uh, what's your favorite song? Ooh, that's a tough one. Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's he whispering? What's he whispering? He's whispering instinct, which I disagree oh, with. Oh. I was gonna say heroin, heroin. It's got to be nightfall. Oh, nightfall. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a classic. All right, nightfall. All right, thanks a lot, bud. Uh, stay tuned, and we're gonna have the uh, Oxford show coming up uh, soon. Uh, we're here with a Latvian man who came to London to watch Unto Others. And what is your name, sir? Uh, Andre. Andre, beautiful name. Welcome. I hope uh, London has treated you well. Uh, what's it like in in Latvia? Uh, colder than in London, definitely. And you came all the way over here to watch? Onto others. And your favorite song from them is? Uh, that's a hard question. I like pretty much the, like, I, I, I've been listening to the last album the last, like, month, like, constantly. It's in my playlist, so it's like... Like choosing your favorite, I don't know, dish or well, <laughs> but That's a tough one. but yeah, but I like from the last album. I like Summer Lightning and uh, Destiny, and uh, yeah, uh, from the first album, uh, single Sound Knows. That's the single. Yeah, happy Capper. Yeah, happy Capper. The the APs, the APs were also amazing. Yeah, so it's like, you know, it's like. Coming to a person, what's your name? Three songs, you know. <laughs> well, it was good you signed for a headlining show because then they were play, able to play most of this stuff. Yeah, all all the stuff that you just said, they pretty much played. Yeah, I just thought you know that probably London is gonna get a huge crowd. You know, uh, I've been to London like a few years ago before okay. COVID. I went to see Pestilence. Uh, oh, nice. They were playing at the Dome. But yeah, it's my first, second time in London, and yeah. Oh, brilliant! Well, yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back, and uh, yeah, man, we we hope you had a fun fucking day. I surely did. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, and guys. Who are you with? Well, so we're here. It's after the show. On to others in Oxford, awesome. uh, and we are here with Tim. Tim, how are you, Tim? <laughs> I'm very good. Yeah. 
Um, this was the only one I could come to, so I'm very glad that it went ahead, despite yeah. the venue cancellation. In before. in the O2. Yes. Which sucks. Yes. It yeah. did, because that's obviously, <laughs> you know, slightly better venue probably in but this was, this was up close. But this was up close. Yeah, I think so. I think this was good. Honestly, I, I was very impressed by until others and by Zetra as well. Zet, I'd never heard of Zetra. But, oh really? Yeah, never heard of them. But I spent a load of money on merch, so it must be good. <laughs> on both Zetra and on onto others. Yes. Too well, late. Too long. Thank sleeves, you for the support you know? for the bands. I mean, I'm sure they appreciate it, especially coming here in Oxford. Well, They've done a full tour, and it's yeah. been wild. Well, I was very surprised. I really thought a band like that would play two or three UK shows they play London they play like Manchester or Glasgow and that would yeah. be it but full tour we're very lucky this was the only day I could do so it was yeah. you know they worked out perfectly really it was shocking legitimately considering how many people were in the in the London uh, gig the London show yeah. rather com compared to Oxford and it was absolutely slam packed in London yeah, yeah, whereas yes. Oxford yeah yeah definitely a, a little bit more quiet but a lot more intimate and a Do lot like? more uh, I really <laughs> liked I like that. a lot more extreme oh, and in your face again. yes well you know that at the underworld, it's you're so far down, aren't you? Where the relative yeah. to the stage, you, you're, yeah, yeah. you know. If, whereas here, they're they're at your level, and you're right there. Yeah. It's yeah. Absolutely. It has much more energy. So, favorite song? Um, a single solemn rose. I'm pleased that was like the last yeah. one before you know, Dragon Light You Cry. See you, fellas. Have a safe journey. Home. Later. Later. See ya. Take care. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. They played most of the ones I wanted to hear. I think maybe. Um, it would have been good to hear Little Bird or um, oh. mm -hmm. or By Way of Kingdom. But, oh. you know, but yeah, we got most of the best ones, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's tough. I like to hear everything. So yes. I think this is a really, really good show that we got full of yeah. everything from the EPs all the way to the Definitely, first. Yeah, I mean, I, I I was a fan of Spellcaster um, that oh. gave, was in before he formed this band. And I, I loved that album, Night Highs the World. So I followed this band from the beginning. It's the first time I've seen them. So it was fun. Yeah, four four years now probably that's um, really interesting because yeah. you don't get a lot a of that fan, though, a, a right? true fan you don't honestly get a lot of that from onto <laughs> other fans spellcaster yeah <laughs> yeah no that i mean that that second spellcaster album is so catchy it's yeah. the best it's really fun and you know i've got idle hands merch at home as well so i'm just <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bands with the oh, same people um so i'm gonna say are you are you excited in terms of the evolution obviously you're, you're following these talented blokes i mean yes um, well, I think this the, this recent album, Strength, is heavier than the first one, isn't it? And I like that. Yeah. And in terms of what I would, would like to see on a third album, it's their band. It's their decision, obviously. Yeah. But I love the dual guitar leads. You know, when you've got those harmonized leads, that Iron Maiden style stuff, that's mm -hmm. that's the best. And that's the best stuff to watch on stage when they're trading off each other with their, their solos and so on. That's fun. I want to see more of that. 100%. Well, hopefully in the next album we'll right. get just that. I mean, not to give you <laughs> yeah, a... Spider. Not, yeah, Spider, <laughs> Gabe, come on. Uh, I mean, they did Do sort of leads. tell us a, a bit of a... Yeah, it might happen. It might happen. Anyways, oh, cool. mate, thank you so much. Uh, I thank see that the well. doors have closed on us. So yes. <laughs> We we're, already, uh, no we're officially here. derelict. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Officially derelict in Oxford. It's dead quiet. <laughs> it's and a no Sunday one's... night, you know? There's plenty of places open. <laughs> Mate, thank you so much for being on here, and thank I hope you, you enjoyed much. the show. And yeah. Yes, thanks very much for having me. It was really good to meet you guys, and I'm glad there are people in the, in this country doing stuff like this. Hell yeah. yeah. Promoting. Thank you. Hell yeah, you heard it here first. So the much. Heavy yeah. Metal Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Tim. And we're back. Oh, love those fans. Love the fans. Thank you so much, guys. And keep supporting unto others. And if you have some free time, maybe support us as well. I don't mm -hmm. really know. It was um, a lot of fun. A lot it of was fun. a lot of fun. Yeah. So thanks for that, guys. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to play one of the songs from unto others. Yes. Which one did you pick? Uh, so I picked something from the latest album, of course. And it's one they played tonight. Really love the song live. It's called summer lightning i wish i had brought my cowbell as well to contribute to it uh, unfortunately i didn't but they killed it anyway great song here it is summer lightning hell of a song not my favorite but hell of a fucking song hey um, no, no no i'm not oh come I'm on not bashing. it's just not my favorite listen even the songs that aren't my ah. favorite i still listen to at least once a week okay yeah of course i mean they, they have no bad songs really so it's really hard to choose and that's why i thought that you know, it's so difficult to make a playlist because if it were up to me, they'd play everything front to back. Exactly. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go straight now to the interview with Unto Others that we did in Oxford uh, before they went live. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And by the way, guys, Unto Others, thanks so much for doing this. Uh, really appreciate everything. Um, 
Gabe, thank you, uh, and Spider. I really hope I didn't, uh, yeah, uh, impede when you were doing those solos in London because you were like right out in front of the crowd and I was headbanging. And oh, I almost throw- got hit in the head with yeah, the guitar yeah, so stuff. I hope I didn't fuck up, uh, fuck up your playing there. But yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for signing the LP. Um, hope you guys had fun in the UK as well. And yeah, here's here's the interview. Cool. Uh, so yeah, welcome. Good. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, dude, I'm so happy to have you here, man. Yes, it's been a while. We've oh, been fast for a long time. Been waiting for this. Um, so yeah, UK. Yes. What has the reception been like, man? Do we love you? I mean, obviously we love you. But... Yes. <laughs> What's it been like? Uh, really, really kind people. The first few days have, were totally insane. Like, we haven't been treated really rudely by it. Anyone except a bum who like yelled at us. What about was that Camden? I was gonna say Oxford. I was gonna say Oxford. That was Bristol actually. Oh, it was Bristol. Yeah, he wanted a, he wanted a, uh, some money, and my bassist was like, I don't got any, and he's like, That's a problem with you Yanks, man. You can't even <laughs> lie right. I was in the army, <laughs> fucking British, and he's like, Pop yeah, yeah, his yeah. chest, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, um, okay, okay yes, sir, whatever. Just keep Please, on walking. But, yeah, we play our show now. But yeah. like, we popped our tire in Northern Ireland uh, on this like private road in this like nice area near Giants Causeway okay. and uh, there was a family staying in the vacation home and they they were like a metal family so like oh. the guys come out and they're like they're like yeah they're like you know the guy's like 45 he's been going to metal shows maybe 50 his whole life he's like what's going on you know and they're like oh can we help you and then some other old guy comes out and he's like whoa you need a jack you need this you need that and I mean he brought us tea and biscuits oh, like fuck. out while we're changing the tire <laughs> that is yeah. a quintessential experience yeah. that you needed to yeah. have here so exactly like well yeah and then like the guy who owned the private road of course showed up and couldn't get down his road and he gets out and he's like why'd you come down this road it's clearly marked you know and you're like uh, well we got lost yeah. it's clearly <laughs> marked yeah well we got lost if you had any sense you wouldn't have turned down here. Well, we don't have any sense. Yeah. yeah. Come to Portland. We're, we're putting on the tire as fast as we can. And and then he saw that, like, there was another big landlord there, like, because he was the landlord, I think, and then there was another landlord guy who lived there in the community, okay. and he was the one giving us tea and biscuits. And the Metalhead family, and there was, like, ten other residents who were... There was like 10 other residents there who were like being extremely nice to us. And I think he realized pretty quick that he was the only asshole. Uh-oh. And everyone was kind of like turning on him. Like, yeah. like literally the family was like, fuck that guy yeah. while he was standing right there. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> and then he's like, okay. And he gave us directions to a tire shop at the end. Wow. But he was like begrudgingly gave, you know, like whatever, you know. The stories, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, That's yeah. nice. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, well, we want to ask about actually the set list when you. Oh you know, yeah, dude, the set list. Fucking. Oh, by the way, by the two way, two albums and some EPs and yeah. brilliant stuff. Yeah. The, I think the only song out of the entire set list that I, that I wanted to hear was "I Feel Nothing." But yeah, that, that's that's a, bit. I, yeah. But other than that, exceptional. I don't think I would. I honestly don't think I would have changed one. Song. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Great we, stuff. How did we, you choose between everything? You just go. What are we? What are we good at? <laughs> you go. The, you throw the hits, and then you go. Which ones would be fun? Yeah. So, so is it more so like what the crowd wants though, versus what you guys actually like? If playing? I, ninety percent of the time, if I hear someone in the crowd yell out a song, and I have it in my back pocket, I'll just throw it in too. I mean, we're headlining, so. It's, Whoa. Okay. Well, don't I mean, tell us that because we're. Well, <laughs> like I feel nothing. We're we, we're in such a groove now that <laughs> yeah. unless I are, we already practiced it a little bit. But like for example, on the last tour. Uh, some guy was like, "Are you playing single solemn rose?" And I was like, "And I was like, uh, no." And he's like, got so bummed. He was like, uh, "Okay." And, he off. and then I saw so him like, "God fucking damn it!" I go out in the trailer, I pull out the acoustic. I'm like, "Okay, cut the man." And, 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 and then I'm like, "All right, this guy asked for this song, so we play." And of course, he was fucking like, "Oh yeah, yeah he must have lost yeah. his mind." So now it's in the set for this whole tour because we practiced it on the last tour. So. Yeah, but it's funny because no, we were in London. And we were asking people in in yeah. the line before we went in what they wanted yeah. to hear, and that actually came up a few times. It did yeah. come so up. I feel like the song did come up. Yeah. That's, that's how right. you get those fucking diehard fans. Man. Yeah, I mean, that's a more of a personal song, and you know, so people, I feel like, you know, it's all emotional and stuff. Connect to people like that shit. So. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then the next question I'm gonna have. 
You said you work better under pressure, yeah? As opposed to, hold on, as yeah. opposed to like in COVID times, which yeah. of course we all procrastinate. Yeah, yeah. But does that mean that we might get a, I know it's a rush, but right. a new album even sooner because now you're under pressure? Maybe. I mean, I, there's no rush to put out a new album. No rush. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't want to be one of those bands that puts out an album every two years, like Clockwork, yeah. but it's looking like it'll probably be two years. Mm -hmm. So like 2023 is probably the next record. I mean, I have fucking 20 demos because yes. like you did yeah. say you wanted to put out maybe like a, a, an EP or maybe well, like one or two we're like putting out some shit like okay. we're putting out some shit like this like the don't waste your time complete you know that's just reissue stuff but like vinyl reissue it's good um, to have it <laughs> and this fall we're doing some shit for record store day okay. basically it, it's the tracks that I didn't put on strength and it's not the duds they were like good we had to choose the label wouldn't let us do a double album okay. so these were the rest of the okay. songs that were supposed to be on strength so that's gonna be sick um, okay. and that'll come out this fall um, yep. and then uh, you know next year then you'll probably have to wait a year before we do the next <laughs> before the next record release that's, that's I mean so I'm gonna have to start going to the studio soon but like this summer or fall I'll be in the studio but it literally takes like a year after you're fucking done to, yeah. like especially vinyl times right now are year turnaround so yeah I mean that's true tons of delays yeah, I, a bunch of bands we talked to said that oh we delayed the album specifically because we want to release it on vinyl as yeah, well so. yeah at the same time I'm sick of doing these pre-orders that take six months later to come out I'm like yeah. oh, it's just a stress it's awesome. yeah. so it's not like the band cap stuff you guys yeah. do with Halloween you know it's, it's yeah. you know, yeah. be able to get it right away and well that was a pre-order actually the Halloween yeah. EP well, oh yeah yeah you can get you it, get you, the the music, it. Yeah, you can get the music right away yeah yeah um, just the vinyl you gotta wait on <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah, absolutely okay uh, then one thing I did want to ask you is so you guys uh, in, in you guys were in Spellcaster Silver Talon Colin Spider New yeah do you think that that's and I've sort of listened to the entire it's quite a range by the way in terms of sort of the sounds of the bands yeah different genres think, everything different genres different sounds do you think that sort of helped you finally sort of solidify this like really solid sound that you guys have and it almost seems like like honestly even the song that I I feel like I would like the let like the least which I by the way yeah. still love it's still so fucking catchy and I, I like I hum it all the yeah. goddamn what time what song is that um, anytime dude Summer it's Lightning which is my least likely <laughs> yeah, song that I love I fucking hum it like uh, walking yeah. to work without realizing <laughs> that's it that's my favorite though and I get yeah, to work I'm like, yeah, I just realized my fucking, favorite too yeah. Yeah, don't, don't worry you get this all the time bro like, I nearly brought the, my cow the, the fact that you have a favorite and a least favorite is is flattering because if you actually care about a band, you have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. The it's song. hard to choose between your children. When you have twenty of them. Yeah. You know? But there's bands if you where you're just like, yeah, give me to the night. <laughs> Anyways, what you know, you're like, oh, you it's to totally interchangeable record. though, and that's that's yeah. why I feel like literally you guys have got this like weird magic right now. Yeah. That's well, like the, it's unstoppable. Well, Sebastian, he didn't really contribute to Spellcaster. He he was a live guitarist for the last tour we did. Okay. And then the band dissolved. Uh, like so, he was with us for like a month or two but that's when I really got to know Sebastian on that tour and I realized how good of a dude he was like not just playing wise but just we kind of gel uh, chemistry wise like him and I there's no we just fucking get along and Colin is the same way he gets it I don't have to tell him what to do he knows what he needs to play for the drum parts so um, I mean there's always of course like uh, maybe this is a little better there a little better there but we we get how songs flow together we know each other's writing styles like because Colin and I have been playing since 2013 so yeah uh, okay. yeah Makes but sense. Um, but yeah like I, I I just chose people who I wanted to be around to, to be in the band because you got to go on tour with these people. Yeah, so that's I made sure there was no idiots, basically. No Axl Roses of the group. No no <laughs> Axl Roses and no just, like, morons who don't know what they're doing yeah. or are going to, like, Jeopardy. do something stupid, you know? And, and I just laid everything out from the beginning. I'm like, hey, you know, it's this is my project. Do you want to be in it? But it's my project, and it's going to stay that way. Like, maybe something will change who knows but this is this is the thing it's like okay yeah I'll join your band like, alright well let's fucking do it really? it's transparent and, yeah. we, and we fucking that's how rock. it should be dude. yeah exactly yeah and I mean you mentioned you know Spellcaster dissolved yeah uh, we just have a question you said once you, you once said that the the failure is the path to success yeah, so what is the most important failure you've I, had as a I musician I mean I didn't say that you know oh. <laughs> millions of people have said that no, but, no, you <laughs> said it first true, but no, it's, no, yeah. no 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 <laughs> first person yeah, ever say yeah, that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah. So what's 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 been like one that's redefined that I feel that every path. day. 
I mean, every single day it failed. Yeah. Now we learn, hey, don't go down a private road. <laughs> Be more careful when you're backing up. Yeah, of Get, course. You know, we scraped two cars driving on the left side of the road, you know, since we got here. And I'm like, okay, now we don't scrape cars anymore. You know, because, <laughs> but like even that, musically, yeah. like, uh, I'm like, okay, change your, change my string. I broke a string the other day. Okay, I know now how many times I need to change the strings on this guitar for yeah, not to fuck up. I mean, it's just... It's a learning process every single well, day. Well, I mean, living life is. But yeah, I guess on the bigger scale, scope of the band, you know, like the big failures, you know, like having complete tours that are failures, having band relationships dissolve into nothing because of shit talking or stuff like that. I don't allow that stuff to happen anymore. If someone has an issue, I don't let it fester and go, whatever, man, you, you know, yeah. go cry about it or something or whatever. In mean, our old band, you know, if someone had, was having a bad day, it was like, it was like, huh, whatever, he's just being a bitch. Like, okay, let's go, you know, do our, our shit. And then it would explode at some point to this yeah. huge fucking fireball of, fuck you, I'm fucking quitting this band, fuck you, fuck you. It's so stressful. And you're, like, and you're on the road, and it's like, I don't care, you know, like, whatever. We just drew, play we some drew music. four people last night, you know, like, you know, that, yeah. kind, of, that kind of shit. So, so those past That's bands like, basically were like a stepping stone to, to sort of yeah, realize it what it really yeah. takes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this could be a stepping stone to something else. I mean, who knows? Yeah, yeah that's so. <laughs> this is, New yeah. kings of God. New kings of God. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so we're going to read some stuff off that we uh, that we saw on sort of the fan comments. Yeah. Yes. Um, on your YouTube videos, on your social yeah, media. Yeah, YouTube and fuckers are relentless. Oh, that's I don't, all positive. I don't, I don't even... Uh, well, there's a lot of positivity, but the negative ones are really bad on there. I actually stopped reading comments entirely. I haven't logged into YouTube in, like, months. I, oh, don't worry. There's no negative. I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't look at that. That shit. <laughs> like, That's a good idea. So well, then Neil, you... Neil Pert said, and it's a great quote. Yeah. He's like, I don't read reviews. And the guy's like, why? He's like, well, because if you're going to believe the good ones, you have to believe the bad ones. You can't just say every good one about me is right and every false one is wrong. You know, yeah. that's not how it works. So No, no, that's yeah. true. So should we skip that's this? Now I feel like we're... No, oh, because go ahead. He's, go he's ahead. never heard these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes it even I'm better. Yeah, because sure he has never heard these. All right, so this is actually interesting because it's from a person called Pamela Kaminer. So a female, yeah. and she says, all right, you have a 56-year-old follower here, guys. Keep up the good work. Would love the lyrics. Uh, best video I've seen in a long time. And I think this is from downtown. downtown. Yeah. So th this is this is something interesting. Just because I'm saying she's yeah. 56 years old. Yeah. If she if this is actually if, if this is real. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. probably yeah. It's I, a Russian those, there's a lot of shit like that just to get upvotes. Like I see it everywhere. Like I'm I'm 72 and I just got in this record. It's got like 2,000 likes. <laughs> uh, like yes. he, this guy probably just goes around to every video and says he's 72. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, like whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Finish but, your but, question. But, but if it, if it was true, let's. Say, yeah. Which I still feel because I have talked firsthand to yeah. people who have listened to you guys and yeah. they're a bit older. Yeah. Um, do you think that this sort of the sound that you guys are coming out is is almost like a unifying force because you're getting a, a bit of sort of the older, the old guard in terms of like punk, yeah. rock, but you're also getting the new sort of metalhead era together. Uh, which is why, I, again, it, it's yeah. not overly verbose, but to say you're sort of like the semi new gods of goth is, is not but something... Getting, yeah, you're getting crazy. younger No, I'm goth. not trying to get your head, but it's, it's like, real. I mean, we're, I mean oh, you know, sorry. the next record could not be goth at all. Like, okay, the, okay. The, the, the thing is, like... I, I hate to sound like I feel like I'm fuck I sound like Sisters of Mercy dude it's like we're not goth and I'm like dude that's exactly how I feel because I started this band as a heavy metal band yeah. and I was like but I can't sing high so I'm not gonna fake it I'll just sing low over this heavy metal you listen to early shit like Blade in the Will yeah. you know that's a very heavy metal song not it's less goth than heavy metal yeah. and uh, and yeah it's it, the, only, the only reason it came out is well we're a goth band is because I sing low and then of course I was like you know, Sebastian, what does this sound like? It's like, it's like Iron Maiden meets, like, goth stuff. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, we should yeah. probably wear all black. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. And, you know, and then you just go from there, and then we become this thing where it's like, oh, they're a goth band. I'm like, okay, I guess. I'm, so then here's my question. Yeah. Because heroin, yeah. much more sort of death, proper, like, you yeah. know, end of the very metal heavy. spectrum. Yeah, very, very, very heavy, heavy yeah. yeah. You just sort of gave me a teaser. Does that mean we're going to get to see her a little bit more sort of uh, heavier? heavier death than yeah. the new one? Some people want that, but, dude, it's... Yeah. Whatever you feel like. Anything yeah. could happen. Literally. Really. It's, it's as long as it's... Art Free of labels. As long as it's got an artistic purpose behind it, I'll put it out. So yeah. there, there is some heavier shit that's kind of like, like... There's one song that's almost like hardcore influences. Like, this whole hardcore resurgence is probably, melt, you know, infecting me a little bit because I have a few songs that I'm like... That's 
that's like a hardcore song. Um, like but, Power uh, Trip, end of hardcore. Yeah, but it'd or... still be us. It'd be Power Trip, end of hardcore, not actual hardcore. Yeah, not okay. Or like Suicidal Tendencies, end of hardcore, that kind of shit. You okay. Know? Yes. Not like, what the fuck's up? You know, like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I want to see a yeah. circle pit. It's more like, you know, just thrashing. Yeah. It's like what, yeah, it's like the new age of thrash, new age of, of death or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, there, there's, there, might, there will likely be some heavy shit on the next record, but mostly I'm just going for a beautiful uh, evilness to it. That's the idea. Oh, that's fun. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we're not going to go too much then with the comments. One last yeah. one I did want to say because yes. it's hilarious. This one is a good one. Oh, Gabriel. Real quick, actually, before you, um, that old lady who likes it, I mean, there's our demographics right there. And, so she's oh, yeah, 62, she said. She's, so she's, she's part of the 2%. No, no, so she's yeah, in the, uh, so 15% she's, over 45. She's 56. Hey, man. So, yeah, 15%. That's pretty impressive there you still, go. yeah. That's pretty good, man. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Most of the listeners are my age range, which is 28 to 34. I'm okay, assuming you perfect. fall in that area. Yes, yeah, we do. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ideally. And 80, We're not in the top 1%, and, no. And it's 85% <laughs> male, or 81% male. Yes, so, okay, yeah, cool. So, so am I. You guys are, so am you, I. You guys are the cream of the crop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. the army. <laughs> All right. In yeah. At least two um, nights in England. Yeah. Right. You know. Last one then. Uh, uh, hilarious to me, by the way. Gabriel is a tall guy. He needs a bigger guitar. This, I think, was from oh, downtown. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a flying V would look good on him. <laughs> no. <laughs> you love his Gibson. Yeah. The Gibson yeah. SG, yeah. I like G Gibsons and Fenders. Yeah. I, I actually played a Fender for the whole last tour, mm -hmm. but um, this time I was like, my Gibson's nicer. I'm just gonna play that. Yeah. yeah. The Fender is kind of too small and I didn't even use that in the video I used the Gibson in the video which I thought yeah, yeah. is a big guitar it has a really wide neck and everything <laughs> yeah. I'm like how can I get nah, fucking be bigger, small than, or not, bigger yeah. than that it's like ridiculous yeah. Like, like yeah literally only a flying B or like a huge Kelly or something yeah. you need seven Basically. strings eight strings maybe yeah. and then people will be like oh yeah that's yeah. totally fine yeah. awesome alright well Gabe last part of this man thank you for doing this uh, originally we had tour drink collab I mean, well, which we still could do which is alright one okay. band well, quick wanna, one yeah quick one band you want to tour with, one band you want to drink with, one band you want to collaborate with. Anyone, oh. dead or alive, past or present. I would probably collaborate with uh, uh, Suicidal Tendencies or Rush. Okay. Uh, I would probably drink with Municipal Waste, but like oh, 10 years ago when they were really going at it. Yeah. And then uh, I grew up listening to them. I love that band. Um, <laughs> yeah, us too. It's good. Yeah. I mean, I've already, I, I technically have drank with Municipal Waste, but... Oh, yeah. But like I was just a total fanboy, like uh, yeah, silently yeah, sitting still in their bus. Fanboy. Yeah, uh, I don't think they know. They might know who I am, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. But um, and then what was the last one? Collab. Uh, or, 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 tour, drink, collab. Oh no, collab was the first one. Tour, I, I was suicidal. Yeah. So, okay. Tour. So tour with. Um, like dream band, dream band anytime. I mean, I've kind of already no fucking limits. done it. Like, I mean, King Diamond was pretty. That was pretty insane. Epic. Like, yeah. um, Iron Maiden yeah, would be the top of my list right now. I, we were actually in the van, like Iron Maiden or Metallica. Which would you do? And I was like, well, Metallica, like in the '80s, fuck yeah, you know. But like, um, but Iron Maiden right now, yeah. yeah. We well, actually, our Airbnb host, his friend is the bodyguard of Bruce Dickinson. So oh, no, no, we were no, just no, talking yeah. about oh, no, that. Sure. Yeah. 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 He's, like he's like a square. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally just a square. Yeah, oh, damn, hilarious. dude. Okay. I see except on that list somewhere. I think. Oh, dude, okay. This is our last bit. Yeah. Sorry, this we say, is, we keep say saying last bit. Let's say except should have been that last response somewhere. I love that band. I would tour with them in a heartbeat. Well, we're going to okay. give you a hard choice because you have to choose between two. So let's say All right, so there's a... Uh, you go to the gals, you got to listen to these albums. You got to choose one or two. So, do you choose Accept balls to the wall or cradle of filth, dusk in her embrace. I'm going to die. You're going to die. You have one day. You got to listen to these albums. Last day, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but cradle of filth's awesome, but I want to listen to that shit before I die. Yeah. Okay. I, I accept. I'd be like, well, let's fucking do it, man. You know? Wow, that's a fucking badass answer. Okay. Yeah. Metallica and Justice for All or Rumor Sleep with Mac, which is really different. As, yeah. I, as I'm about to die. As you're about to die, man. Justice one for more. All, for sure. Wow. I okay. love rumors to death but justice for all before you go yeah, okay. you're choosing like how did you find out these albums? oh don't don't worry about it man <laughs> <laughs> we the band for 
for years. Exactly. Okay, okay. We're, right, we're right, upset. All right. All right. Ramones, self titled, or Typo? Bloody Kisses. You know, those are probably the two albums I listen to the least. Uh, oh, okay. It's funny because we get so many fucking Typo comparisons. Yeah. I'm I've like, seen two shirts. Like, oh. Identical shirts in London. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah there's there some Typo shirts last yeah. night, and I was like, I'm like, I like Typo Negative, but I'm not like a fucking fanboy or some shit like that. People are like, oh, you're like Peter Steele. I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like fucking <laughs> seven feet tall and has a fucking massive wang. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking yeah. Goliath. You have yeah, I mean, well, on top Springer, of that, he's so. got like sharpened teeth. I mean, he looks like a vampire. Like, yeah. He's the king of fucking goth. Much, and that's yeah. why I don't want to be like, I don't want this goth label because yeah, then yeah. you get the shit talkers coming in. And while they do spread your clout and make your band a little bit bigger, I'd like to this band to be thought of as a respectable, polite, kind band that it is. I don't want to be fucking like shit talking or fucking in competition with other bands. Yeah, right? yeah. We're simply here to write music, play it, and put it out. That's that's it. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, please just leave me alone. Like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear why you don't like it. I don't care. Like, go away. Go tell it to your friends who are pissing you off. You know, that, <laughs> because that's really who you want to say it to. Yeah. You know, it's like, I'm sick of you listening to this shit. You know, or, you know, so who, who knows? I love that answer. Oh, brilliant. But, uh, the, a, but, that... the, but the type, yeah, probably typo between those two. So, brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, yeah. Gabe, thank yeah. you so much, dude. We really, really, really appreciate, appreciate the shit out of you, man. Thank you yeah. so much. God bless. And, uh, it's been yeah, a dream for us. There you go. Yeah. There's our dream interview. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, that was great. Really nice, guys. Yeah, really friendly. Really um, they're really reachable as well, which is awesome, especially if you love the fucking band. It's, it's just that much better when they're like, yeah, dude, we'll totally talk to you. Like, yeah, on our humble podcast. On our humble podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was uh, great. Thank you guys for everything. The fans, um, unto others, and hopefully we'll see them again next time they swing around. And, yeah, here's to, here's to great things. And I'm going to end this podcast by playing my favorite song, um, I feel nothing mm-hmm. off the first don't EP. waste your yep the first EP don't waste your time and yeah guys thank you for listening.